Oh, man. Hey, find, Mr. Severance. Facebook wants to know if you find that in useful or not useful. So, tonight I'm just tying some of my favorite and most predictive alby flies. Some of my flies I use day in, day out, really. I always have them in my box. Hey, Mr. Lavelle. Oh, hey, Mr. Manor. Somebody just knocking on the door. Uh, he removed behind this house. Alright. Alright, before you go, go ahead and get started. So, this first fly, it's just a simple just alby dubbing fly, a little bit of flash in it. Um, this was just plain white. I tie it plain white, olive over white, um, pink over white, straight pink, chartreuse, chartreuse over white. I mean, you can just mix match um, whatever you want, but the ones that I always have in my box are pink over white, white, and olive over white. So. Hey, Mr. Jordan. Hey, Mr. Rakes, how you doing? Um, oh, somebody's knocking on the door. Okay, I'll take it. Alright. So, the hook I have in the vise, this is a number four A-Rex curved salt hook. It just has a wide gap, and I this year was my first year using it for false albacore, and so far I've been loving it. It's for the size of the hook, it's very stout, and I haven't had any issues yet. Super sharp as well. What? That's not very sharp, is it? Look, look at the thing. It's a uh, Brady Miller's like and Brady Miller's Yeah, like 18 different times. Yeah, that's here. The the I, I don't know why it does that. I said that was somebody else last week. It wasn't just me. Alright, so. David Duck is watching. First thing I do, egg or nay. So, first thing I do, I take a little clump of flash up the rear. This is pink pearl polar flash. I know, it's backwards. Um, take it over. Cross my thread, I double it over, and then right at the hook bend there. A few tight wraps. That's all I do there. I'm gonna take my scissors, in the rear of it. Your thing's too long. I'm gonna make it. So. I just kind of saw and gently snip. I don't tend to keep the flash but so long, kind of like in the core of the dubbing, but you can make it as long or as short as you want. Um, let's see, Sean, so do you have any issues with those fibers fouling around the hook when you're back casting in the wind? Um, I'll show you a little trick that I've I've done with these just to make sure that doesn't happen as much as possible, but um, it's basically just coating a very light coating over it with uh, like flex solar res or whatever resin that you like to use. I, uh, I've done it with and without it. You definitely um, foul up a lot more without it and I know it can be a big headache especially when you have fish busting right in front of you and you're trying to cast into them. So what I just took was a small clump of white laser dub and just pinching and stacking in my hands. And then I'll kind of just get the fibers straight Come on, look at the phone now. Just give me a second. 
and I'm trying to finish this. Well, I'm just saying I can't see it anymore. So, well, you need to whatever anybody's typing. Time. I'll get to that. As soon as I finish what I have to do, I will get on the thing. So, just going to kind of take that clump and work it around the hook shank. 360 degrees all the way around. A few tight wraps, and then I'm gonna come through with the little cone and cone it out. Alright, a few more wraps like reverse tying it back, almost like that tiny little bullet there. My next step is going to be, let's see, I'm going to do top first. I'm doing pink over white with this one just so y'all can see it maybe a little bit better. It's like focused on me. Sorry about that. Still not focused. I don't know if you can or dirty a bit. It's because it's focusing on this. Well, turn the bottom. You know what's for you. Alright, so this is pink laser dub. Just stacking it over the top. Get you over here. So 50-50, right behind the hook, hook eye there. And then I'm gonna take my white and again stacking, pinching my hand that just lets you get as much laser dub as you can. Takes a good hook. I'll make your shoulder out. I'm going to yeah. Hmm. Hello, Jerry. How's that game changer belly hood going? Is it possible? Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. I will write that down for you. Alright, so first I'm gonna fold the belly over. Um people said speak up. Okay. First I'm gonna fold the belly, stack over. And as I'm bring my thread through the bunk through the little bunch of the dubbing just going to go over a wrap and then make like a little bullet of the dubbing there just kind of trapping it twice over again like that I mean I don't know if y'all can see that or not but that little bump is it's the dubbing it's if I zoom in then it's less focused about as focused as it's going to get and then, as a little throat, you could either use a marker, Sharpie, Copic marker, whatever. And I'm just using a little clump of red laser dub. I mean, this whole fly is dubbing other than the, uh, other than the, uh, flash right there. So, this is in front of those two stacks. Gonna shorten that up a bit. And then add that right down to that same little kind of bullet. Somebody else said speak up. Alright. Uh, what hook is that? Okay, wait. Is that Brayden, from says, Tyler? Brayden says it's blurry, so give me two seconds. I don't know if it's that or what. There, well, that that helped. Um, there you go. So the hook is an A-Rex, curve, salt, number four, I know it's backwards, 
but um, I've tied this fly on Kona Big Game Hunter number six and eights and twos, and then and, and the fours. Um, I've also tied this fly on the A Rex minnow hook, in the size four and six. Um, let's see what else. The uh, I think that's about all, all I like to tie it with. And then I tie this thing from a number four down to a number eight. So pink over white with a little red throat in there. I mean, honestly, nothing crazy, but the eyes make it look better, a lot better. So these are Flyman um, four millimeter eyes. I'm just gonna take a little drop of Loctite on the thread wraps, the thread bump there. Tiny drop. If I can get this thing off my finger. And then placing it right there, just behind the hook eye. Alright, another drop right behind the hook eye. Take my eye. Well, there's the hook with a link to Caddis Supply Shop in Norvice Kilo. Oh, that's good. What's that? Dan said he got sent out west and was only supposed to be there six weeks and two weeks in and found out he won't be back and get home until December. Oh, wow. He won't be trying for a while. Alright, so, solar is thin. This is going to be on what coats your thread and your eyes. So, in between the hook eye, or in between the eyes, the gap right there, fill that in. Coating, thin coat around the eyes. And as I'm doing all this, it's bleeding back into the dubbing a little bit right by the eyes, and that kind of like locks it there. And then I'll just take. Grandpa needs bombs on. Grandpa? Oh, Grandpa and Grandma. Hey, Grandpa and Grandma. Oh, I didn't see Grandma. All right. Sure you're that. And then. I'm going to come in with, this is the Solarized Flex. This is what I'm talking about, Sean, um, for coating over the fly a little bit. I try to do it just behind the bend there. How did you use a fish mask on this pattern? I haven't, and I mean, I'm sure you could do it. I'm sure it would look pretty good on it, too. I just, I don't know. That little extra time to make this fly. It's just it, super good. simple. I'll be good and care. Well, I don't care when they're picky, but this fly I can get it done a lot of times, just as is, but I'm that sure would, that'll make it look pretty cool. That would be an awesome bait fish for stripers here in Canada. Hmm, somebody would somebody went and call a few stripers last night himself. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Some of them on this fly. Some dock lights so then I just kind of take my fingers and I work it kind of through the material where it's not when you when you cure it it's not gonna be like rock hard it'll still be flexible and keep its shape and you're definitely losing like swimming action from the fly but it adds durability and it adds the fact that it won't foul up as much either I'm sure nobody really knows who came up with this fly. Thousands of people, I'm sure, have tied this fly. I really like the look of that to, to us doing. And then I'm going over it all with a uh, bone dry. Thank you, Justin.
definitely a productive fly. I've caught um, albies, largemouth, smallmouth, stripers, weak fish, sea trout, puppy drum, smallmouth. I think I said smallmouth already, but mm -hmm. mahi, you name it. I mean, it's just a little bait fish, and that we do. All right. What uh, what jaws did you use to tie that? That was with the uh, shank jaws. Now, why did you use the shank jaws for this fly? Well, not specifically for this fly, but for for some other flies that I want to get around the hook bend with. But uh, see, this one's a little chewed up here, like that. And then, but I mean, you can see. Good thing you got that waste basket. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, you can, Jesus. Look, Dave Ratcliffe said, wow, not a game changer. Ben Cleveland, that's the smallest fly I've seen you tie. Yeah. And you can't keep it in his hands. So, I mean, you can see that hook gap. It's got plenty. And it's a stout hook. It's not overly huge either. And then, so that's it with the resin on it. But, I mean, you can see this without the resin, it'll definitely foul up a lot more, especially on your back cast and somebody must love that I bet they left that I bottom door open. And then uh but I mean it swims a lot more. So let's see. First fly down, that was the LB dubbing fly. Um not really a name for that one but just a general little bait fish. So this fly is another fly that has worked for me pretty well. Um, just a little resin head and then a flash and nervy tail. I mean, all these flies are pretty simple. Um, and they all have caught fish for me, multiple different species. But, wow, I can't hold these small hooks. All right, so, start my thread just behind the hook out of there. And with that resin shining through this brighter thread will uh will like bleed through and you'll be able to see, they'll be able to see it. It'll be like a little bloodline or whatever you want to call it. So here's that uh polar flash once again come through. Snip a small amount. I mean it's only using this much and you're doubling it doubling it over. This stuff will last a while. Alright. So Tying it in, wrapping back to the bend there. On the green. And that kind of, when you go around it and pull it back, it like jacks it up. You see how it's kind of wanting to stay kicked up like that. Did you see Joe Rag say what's up? Hey, Mr. Rag, how you doing? Been a while since we've seen you. There you go. Alright, check. You zoomed in enough? Yeah. So, again, just taking the back into my scissors. Like that. Just kind of trimming it up, not wanting to like leave square cuts to where it all kind of flows still. This is ripple ice hair. It's basically like extra long ice stub. Are you using the same hook? Yes. But ripple ice hair, basically it's like long ice stubbing and it's pretty cool. Looks really good in the water. The color is Mother of Pearl, but it's just a different flash, different texture mixed in with that other flash. It kind of blends really well in the water. Um, since I was down to, you know, dealing with crying children and 18 year olds that don't want to listen, did you use the uh, pink polar flash too? 
Yep. Same. So I had to keep my wrist up and put it on. John Mauser says, Braden, I need six dozen. Can you deliver by tomorrow? Be good if he had a license. Yeah, I have oh, a license. Okay. Now that we see you on, John Mauser, is there something you would like to tell John? Because I'm sure you didn't text him like I told you. Oh, yeah, I forgot. All right. um, we will be I down. Think he might kill you if you don't. We're going to be in Lent Beach or Herkers. We're staying in our aisle, but it's all the same. Yeah. Don't you don't want to stay in Herkers? Um... <laughs> when are we gonna no, be there? Good. Um, I think we go down the 18th. Right. So? It's next month. No, it's this month. It is like this next month. Jeez Louise. Alright, so I mean, like you can see there, it's super simple. And that's just marabou over the top of flash. That has caught me a bunch of fish before, but tying it all pink, pink over white, all white like this one here. Um, and so on, so on. Whatever, co whatever color combos you want to do. Um, olive over white for sure. These are little. I'm gonna say they're six millimeter eyes, maybe five, I'm not really sure. But just gluing them onto the thread there. Come in, clean some of that super glue out like that. Alright, Ben, please want to iron so lost. I'm sorry. So, take this, oh, take the cap off of that first. This is Solgo's Thin once again. Just kind of go over top of it. You're going to have to work fairly quickly with this thing because it's going to want to flow all over the place. But just keeping it spinning with my left hand right now, trying to make sure it's even as I can get it. And as it's curing, I can slow down. coat over top of it so with this bone dry just as like a small top coat just makes it a little more shiny a little more clear it looks like you got some big eyes mm -hmm. yeah I always tie those with my big eyes but eyes kind of like Set how wide you're gonna have the body be. Can anyone use one of these for either bass or pike? Um, I've caught bass on this fly. Um, haven't caught pike on it. Um, but I've tied smaller versions for shad. Edward. Didn't have a chance to use them, but I'm sure they would eat it. Edward said, "Quick and dirty guide." Fly. Exactly. And Mr. Hammerstein said, Braden back. <laughs> but, yeah, like. Does he have any? You can't let me kiss. I don't have names for these. I mean, they're just Alby flies. Alby fly number two. Yep. But, 
quick and simple. I mean, literally anybody can tie it. Just got to know how to work with resin a little bit. All right, so that was fly number two. Fly number three is a little like flashy, almost snot bait fly. Move it closer to the sun. Oh, Jesus, child. That's what you meant, right? But, but, uh, like a flashy little snot bait fly. Braden, you ever try crappy, crappy flies? Um,. Not specifically for crappie, but I mean, I've caught them on bully buggers, small game changers, um, oh, like those crappie. dubbing flies. Um, those dubbing flies actually work really well in like any small creek that you have with like small bait fish that you're fishing for bass or even like larger bluegill. Edward said it looks like an American shad fly. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sure and they would. Rick Flink says, I'm getting some weird ideas about turning this into a bike fly by making it into an intruder style pattern. Who knows? It may even work. Do it. I'm sure they would eat it. Try it up. Try it out. If it works, record me a video. Send it to me. <laughs> so I can put it on the New Orleans YouTube page. If anybody would like to try and record a video while tying on their Norvice, you can email it to me at oh, wait. Casey at nor-vice.com. We're always looking for uh, tying instructional videos for the YouTube channel. And if you do send it to me, make sure to send the material list. That is the number one question we always get. All right. So. Fine, Cobbs is on. He said great time. Thank you. Right. Same hook? Um, I believe so. Uh, actually, no, the size six. But yeah, same hook, size six. All right, so, so, same flash as before. Coming in. Man, you're just oh, yeah. full of materials tonight. Told you. Quick and simple. You said this was the Dang, size. I might need to pull out like two more. You said this is a num is it a size six or number six? Hold on, hashtag I six, it. number six. It's not a shut up, it's not a hashtag. That's what it is. Not, number six. It's shut up, child. Hash brown. That was something way before it was ever a hashtag. It was a pound sign. Same thing. <laughs> All right. Well, Tim says anyone not an ambassador or a team member, they will give you a free Norvice t-shirt. You send me a video. Y'all make a video for musky flies? Brandon? Four hours long. We're going to tie us a game changer. <laughs> um, that so. could be a step-by-step -step, uh, blog post instead of probably a video, maybe. Could. If you did a ch game changer. Look at this. So many musky flies and figure some out that's quicker. Alright, so same thing as earlier, just coming through. I mean I try to keep the tail on this one fairly short just because it's gonna be like a snot bait style fly. I think I just saw that somewhere. Or did you say that? What's that? Casey, I'm getting video equipment together with native and our YouTube channel. You have to send me the video, but it cannot be the same exact thing that you put on the native um, YouTube page. Like, even if you shorten it, Joe, by 10, 15 seconds, it has to be different or YouTube will kick it out. Oh, that's right. You already have a musky video up on YouTube, Tim just said. Yeah, I guess so. All right. And then the body is the same flash. That was their mother of pearl a second ago, correct? Yep. It's polar flash. Pink pearl. This? Same thing? Okay. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Quick and simple. Uh, that's my algae flies. Other than game changer. Algae flies. Alright. So. 
bring my threader over to my thread post. And then trying to get all this out of the way real quick. Just gonna walk. Make sure I got all this out. Alright. Just gonna walk the slash create pink. And then three behind, three in front. Snip off my excess flash, save that for a, another fly. Or actually, the fly we're about to do after this one. <laughs> oh, I was telling you, all of them got That's it. That's not what I wanted to do. Well, that's what the prep oh. is for. Oh, you brought in a giant. Oh. Uh, yes, Joe, we will be going to Steelheads again this year. We will be on the, up there with everybody, November is 7th or 8th is when we get there for the week. The Millers and the O'Neills will be there all week. All six of the Millers, Joe, you will have to come visit. Alright, so, same eyes as the... First fly. You're gonna be just behind the hook eye, just like last. Bang, bang, bang. What in the world are they doing downstairs? They're probably playing with airsoft guns inside. Well, that's because Bennett was having a meltdown because Cameron's here and Blake wanted to play with them. He did. Oh man, blue or green? Jeez. Only the blue currently. The green is. One. The blue one's bilge pump going. Oh, that's right. The only the no, the blue yeah. is the only boat that's functional currently because there's one thing left to add, and you need to finish on the green skiff. Well, the bilge pump on the blue one doesn't. Then matter. they're rotating positions in the garage, and the blue one's getting getting worked over. Taking the surfboard out. My, oh, the green one. I think you are missing uh, another part of that sentence there, Mr. Miller. Alright, so now that I have that set, pretty much to where I want it. I'll take this solar rose thin once again over the body. Gotta work fairly quickly with it. What size eyes are those? Uh, same eyes as the first one, I think four millimeter. Try to get any air bubbles out of your resin. Try and get this as even as possible. Yes, solar is. I mean, as you can see there, I mean, it's just a small, super simple, um, little. Uh, what's the word? I'm trying to think of the name. I don't know. It's not bait fly. I don't know why I couldn't think about that. But, super simple. You see that pink bleeding through? Um, I just like that. I'll tie a lot of my LB flies with pink or red or um, even orange thread a lot of times. Just, or a little bit of it will bleed through. Um, you can also take a marker if you wanted to before you went over the whole fly with resin you can take a sharp like a marker or copic marker or a sharpie over the back all right you done already but that one yes you need more orders of those and less flat, less orders for game changers. Jeez, Louise. Oh, feel that. <laughs> Three more.
four fives. What time is it? 7.38. You might want to spin a little well, slower. Well, I'm done. One, Three fives full. Yeah. All right. Well, this is an A-Rex curved salt number six as well. behind the hook eye. Excuse me. Watch those fingertips. You only get one set. He doesn't have any fingerprints. Fingerprints? He said watch those fingertips. Yeah. That one. Oh, did you poke yourself? No. Just busted on something. Not too long ago. Alright, um, what the fuck is this? Oh yeah, alright. Should have showed it before I started time. Um, another small anchovy or snot bait fly. Um, the actual material is from a company called Pike Skins. It's almost like a softer, blander colored SF fiber with no flash. Um, but I've liked it a lot for these uh, little flies. And, Is your tire without showing the picture? Oh, okay. crap. And I'm using the wrong thread. How about that? Alright. Give me one second. This is a bad fan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Ow. Wait till you drop it and go ahead and break it. I haven't broke it yet. I'm about to just want to film it for you. Should have explained how you did that for some people who don't have a Norvice bobbin, sir. Mr. Norvice Ambassador. Yeah, it comes off as fast as it went on. That's right. Maybe even faster. Now, what thread are you using? I want to say this is. Oops. Oh eight. Or 06 monofilament thread. Because oh. normal people would label their bobbins and their bobbin spools with what thread, but when you're 16, I'm different. You don't listen. I already know what thread it is. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even have to look at it. Yeah, okay. But I really like this monofilament thread or any monofilament thread for tiny algae flies, especially once you put resin on. It's like it wasn't even there. Alright, so this fly is actually really good when the fish have been finicky for me recently. It like, it's got no no added flash other than the resin in it, and it's just been really nice. Patrick says, we do these all the way down to a number six hook. They have been on super small bait here right now. Yeah. <laughs> Shannon Messer says that means he's 16. Obviously, he doesn't organize or label either. Oh, Willow Santana's on. Say hello. Hi, Graham. Alright, so. Man, you got grandparents, great-grandparents watching? Your dad? Your brothers. They're obviously too busy, as you can hear downstairs. <laughs> yeah. You can always trim out some of these fibers, but I'm just trying to pluck out some of these longer ones. James, do not encourage him, please. <laughs> you can only see the rest of this room. No doubt. Alright. You're going to wake up growing feathers one day with all the chicken feathers we have in this place. Got hen saddles for days. You just got some in the mail. What are you using now? I'm not paying attention. It's called... Pike skins. I'm not. I have. It's been a while since. Where's the package? There's no package. It's in a box. Because it came in a bag. I hate materials in a bag like that. But. Just kind of going down.
Who makes it? Pipes Kids. It's just their little uh, synthetic. Oh, that's that big furry stuff that looks like it's wavy in your container over there? Yeah. It is exactly. You just need to know. love my supply material and tools. Just building up a, a body pretty much with this thread. Because once I do that, I can blow on the eyes and I don't have to do so much um, resin work. Pipe skins, it's fiber, I believe. Yep. Believe it. mm -hmm. Sounds right, right? Alright, so, yes, it's tan already on the back. But I'm going to come through with this marker. It's going to bleed through the monofilament a little bit, but just running it over the back of this uh, pike skins material. Just giving it a little more color on the back. Do they not make the color you want? Where? No. Can I see that marker? that and it's just another step that you don't have to do but this is another one of those flies that it's a cool little dock like fly they can be a little spooky i mean honestly most of these have been great dock light flies So same eyes as the first and the last fly, four millimeter flyman eyes. Huh? What you talking about? I don't remember. Can you hear exactly what your brothers are talking about? Four year two. Alright. Take these same eyes. Try not to glue my fingers to the hook. Alright. That's a little wonky. Oh no. Alright. There we go. Alright. Unglue it from my finger. And place it on the hook. Glue it back onto my finger. <laughs> I hate small eyes. Alright, there we go. I think I got it. Alright, well, you know what? I'm just going to use new eyes. I'm done trying with these. And I'm going to try a different glue. That was the Ultra Gel Control. This is going to be the Gel Control. If I have any left. Sounds good, Mr. Poindexter. I would love to get down there as soon as possible miss it from last time thank you for watching unless you get down with andrew you're gonna have to wait till the 19th yeah. actually the 18th take that back gotta really try it on a fish this guy is still wet he obviously his feather is not inside because they are loud There you go. So, solar thin resin. You're like the solar uh, stroke person tonight. <laughs> Love it. Where do you 
by that like thing too. Let me correct that. Where do you order and where do I buy it from? Like things. I think. I got it from Pat Cohen. Actually, I think I got it from Pat in person. That's what I think of where I got it from. I don't think he actually carries it all the time though. You know? Yeah, sure. Up with too many. There we go. So, I mean, like, almost nothing to the fly. I mean, just pretty, really as simple as it gets, as quick as you can get if you don't mess up on the eyes like I did 18,000 times. That's the name of the game tonight. Yeah. Not break my thread, just the eyes. But, great fly for any fans, any little tiny bait fish. Smallmouth actually loved this thing. Kind of like nickel hook as well if you want to um so next fly is a plaza minnow <gasps> but um instead of bucktail i mean yes you can tie me bucktail this one here is actually tied with um i want to say this was yak this is yak with um some flash mix in olive or white um, tied them with bucktail, caught albies with that, caught albies with this, caught albies with Crawford plazers, and albies with, uh, um, steeper or blend plazers, which are actually really nice, but, um, I tend to lean more towards synthetic and this style, and I'm actually currently out of this, but I've got some pike skin stuff that work just as well for it, too. So, the... You're out of what, yeah? I thought there was a brown box over here with all kinds of crazy animal fur in it somewhere. I'm from Eden Devlin. Those um, custom blends. I am seeing, not finding pike skin really sold anywhere in the United States. Yeah, I got it from back home. I think he ordered a bunch of it and then he sold it to a good home for a little while and that was it. Well, way to tie a fly that's not accessible awesome, material, Jake. mister. Thanks for watching, Jake. Hopefully, you can get a ton of fish tomorrow. Night, Jake. I'll be waiting on the report. Alright, so, swap my thread again. Seriously, I don't know if you're going to use your eye to do that. Alright, so this is a size 4 A-Rex meadow hook. This, fly, this hook is an awesome hook for these albies. <laughs> yeah, that's how I do. I just have them packed up from somewhere, I think. Figurate the eyes. Tie down the shank a little bit. Holy moly. What's up? These people have tons of colors. Dirk Bait Mania? That's who makes it. Oh, I wonder why they have tons of colors. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I just couldn't remember who normally made it. So, of course, the belly's going to be on what the side the eyes are going to be on so I'm going to do pink pink over pink under tan that's been a great color for me this one's actually more of like a fuchsia hot pink color but I mean you see it's crinkly like what in the world was that I, I don't want to talk about it right now so I go downstairs and figure that out James, that's 
said that that organizer thing his mom was talking about. <laughs> Roll that to the top of the hook. Slide it back. Pull out the long ones. Trim it a little bit. Back behind the hook eye or the dumbbell eyes. I actually kind of trim them a little bit to get whatever shape you really want because now that they're like this, they aren't going any other different shape. Thank you. I have problems putting my eyes on our glasses. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, no doubt. The big eyes are, once they hit like six to eight millimeter, those are the easiest. And then 10 millimeter plus or like nothing. Since uh, that's why you get to see these lives, you get to see us break bread. He should have said break and break bread. Yeah. Struggle uh, with glue, make mistakes. I don't think I've ever seen anybody else break <laughs> any bread. Um, one, or two, one or two other people. Yeah. Maybe you, like famous. Me? Like eight times. That thing time. is blurry looking. Right? I don't know, Bailey. So, what you saw me do there, or maybe, um, just kind of rolling it in my fingers, kind of like tapering it, pulling a little bit, like, you can see, <laughs> hey, mom, look, that's a good, uh, good way to show the color, um, Special. but, um, you can see how it's kind of naturally tapered now. Almost like bucktail, but synthetic. This is that tan pipe skin stuff that you know nobody's gonna be able to get their hands on. Some might be. Hey, tell you, not everybody's from the U.S. All right, so um, Tim says he broke bread on the last. Yeah, once. Been there. Just gonna stack a little more on there. I use an exacto knife with a fine tip to place my eyes. Go it on a stone so I don't fillet myself. Pick up the eye with the tip, get it to the fly, then push it in place with a finger and pull the knife away. That's a good tip. Zealot, so I don't fillet myself. I don't know. If anybody can hear my other children downstairs, I cyclists? apologize. I'm not really sure what they're doing, but they're getting along, so I don't care. Is that pink on top? It's pink on the bottom. Wow. Yeah, there's pink. It's orange. Ooh, this print one sounds like it's killing somebody. Wouldn't be surprised in this house. Alright, so. Let's see what color these people are. Why are they in your room? I'm not 100% sure. Um, look here, could this was. Wapsy, whatever, big fly fiber. Is that kind of like what you're using? I mean, kind of, but not really. You just it. You can just put SF fiber. This is electric pink. Just put Steve for our flash blend fiber from RV. That stuff is, if I don't have this, I would use that. Honestly, I'd probably use that over this anyways, just because it already has flash mixed in. SF blend. Oh, and that is not a tan, by the way, girl. That is called Golden Dorado. Do what? 
your your tan color. Yeah. It's called Golden Dorado. Hey, you know what else is? Tan. tan. Well, over in the UK, they call it Golden Dorado. Interesting. So, I'm just trimming this up a little bit, trying not to put any square edges really on it, but also trying to make it not look like a Menhaden. Which isn't bad when they're eating Menhaden, but that's not my goal. Most time, I find them eating anchovies. And then they throw them up all over the boat. Mm -hmm. They're so good. So, coating the thread in Solra's bone dry. Bennett, or brown, it's just green. not the prettiest but it's functional they eat it they eat it good too and you can time fairly quickly and when if you lose one so what all right so next spot is another uh, closer style but um this one actually has more flash than anything in it um so a little anchovy um it just gets eaten. Flat out gets eaten. So, same exact hook as the last. Alright. So, I'm not actually sure what size eyes these are. But I like them a lot. My bedroom looks like a war zone. Turn the eyes real quick. Oh, good lord, I missed the last hook in that last one. What, the resin? Which one did you use? The a uh, bone dry. Yeah, just bone dry. Whip finish and all. Okay. okay. Four hook. Same one as last. The minnow. Mm -hmm. Minnow number four. What time are we looking at? Making sure we're not. 8.01. You're okay. Whew. It's not 10 o'clock. People are doing okay. It is first time ever in the row. Really close to the hour mark. <laughs> all right. You can get more flash out. Oh, there we go. Oh. Okay. really killing me these days the way they jack it all up. Jack what up? The way they did all their things, algorithms and everything. Can't get any videos and things out like they used to. Oh yeah, watch out for that. Hey, that's not my food. It's Blake's food. I didn't even see that. I was talking about the clothes on the floor. Jesus. You didn't? Oh, I thought you were talking about that. Hi, right, Dad. Ask him where he is. Hey, Dad. Uh, Mom is uh, wondering where you've been. There's other children over here screaming like lunatics. Yes. Thanks, 
Love you too. Thank you. I'm just gonna leave that long until I tie in. Oh, she's giving me a. <laughs> Talking about dad. Wanna let my room? Even cameras are in this room. So, same thing, pike skins fiber, uh, golden dorado. Or maybe some Aggies. <laughs> um. Just kind of get them a little more, this fiber. Much for chilling out. Oh, fucking camera. Cut the square and then draw it back. Snip my thread off. And now I'm gonna come through. Kind of give a look for what it's gonna be like. And then Bring it down from the too high in the camera. Sorry about that. Yeah. Even the back of my scissors. Nobody can see because you're too low. There you go. Even the rear of my scissors here. Just kind of. Okay. What do you mean the rear of your scissors? The rear of the scissors. When did back you, into the scissors. When did you learn that? What do you mean? To call that part the rear of the scissors. The, what else do you want me to call it? I mean, the, the I don't bottom know. I'm of the scissors. I'm just wondering if it was like a, the correct terminology or what. I don't know. No, I I don't know. It's just the back of the scissors, I guess. I don't know. Rick Flint says he likes that flash. Well, if you like that flash, you can tie every fly with it because... It's... I've used it on in brushes. I've used it in other flies, other clousers, deceivers, um, crafter minnows. Oh, should have added that one to the list to tie for obvious reasons. Well, I'm sure you can craft something else with it. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Sorry, guys. You are not seeing the What are the parts of the scissor called? Holy crap, Bubba. There's 14 different parts of the scissors. <laughs> Under scissor anatomy. Fascinating. Two would have been results. Awesome. I look forward to seeing some of yours. Thank you, Ed. Oh, hi, Ed. I didn't know he was on. Yeah, I didn't either. Deep in the blade of the scissors, 10 seconds. Same thing. <laughs> but Albies, Smallies, anything that's going to eat a little bait fish. Thank you, Mr. Edster. All right, well, give you all a few minutes to. If you would like to be technical, you are using the inner blade of the scissors, by the way. How dare I? But, uh, 
uh, yeah, if you got any questions, ask them now. Um, but, uh, yeah, oh, I'm ending it soon. Where will we be October 16th, and what will we be doing, Brayden? I don't know. We go on steelhead fishing? No, Brayden, where are we going? Down to Harper's. I don't know. I don't know. We will be going to the new shop of what fly shop? Tux fly shop. Hey guys, we're going For to the new Tux day. fly shop. I've known this all along. <laughs> I did just find out about this. On October the 16th. And we will be doing a Norvice demo day. Um, time, showing off the vice, answering y'all's questions, um, showing you how to use um, the different parts and functions and different um, jaws, dubbing table, you name it. I talked to Big Mess the other day. He said even he is going to be tying this Thank you. go around. Oh, he is too? Yep, that's what he said. We will be at the waynesville location in waynesville north carolina and we will be celebrating not my 50th birthday like someone said last weekend we will be celebrating tim's 50th and we will be unveiling a brand new device product forgot about that <laughs> yes because we are not going to ip yeah so that'll be really cool Y'all should look forward to that if you enjoy the Norvice or Norvice products. Um, it'll be very cool and very functional. I'll be using it a lot um, once it comes unveiled. <laughs> once it comes unveiled. <laughs> yeah, you don't even have one yet. Well, we have two. Technically, we have two, but they're not complete. <laughs> I can't use them just can't yet. Use it at all. <laughs> they can sit there. Oh, I've said too much. No, you didn't say me anything. Anything, anything can sit there. Look. Bam. They're sitting there. Great looking flies. Thank you, Mr. Dugan. All right. Duggan. I don't really, I, I can't remember how to pronounce your last name. Sorry. All right. So, October 16th, Waynesville, North Carolina. Unveiling a new product. Um, and we'll be fishing. You didn't even know where we were going. How do you know you're going to be fishing? I know there's water near it somewhere. <laughs> If you have any questions, you can reach out to Brayden on uh, Instagram, Facebook. My Instagram is Miller Time Flies. Facebook is Brayden Miller. My website's MillerTimeFlies.com. But um, or you can email you Brayden Miller Brayden at MillerTimeFlies.com. Yep. Um, do you have trouble with internet? It kept freezing. Yes, at some point it kept. Like saying it was rebooting or something. Um, but thank you, Mr. Shoot. Thank you, Mr. Bass. Bass. Don't know how to say your last name. I she said it. Get your Thank you very fly. much. She's tied a shad fly. Tyler tried to get me to. I did it at the International Fly Tying Symposium. Mm -hmm. And Tyler tried to get me to tie my, teach me how to tie my first fly while we were sitting next to Blaine Chocolate and he had 10 people in front of him watching him talk. Was not happening. We had to go across the aisle. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, uh, they can, you can catch this on YouTube most likely tomorrow. I will put yep. all the material for, what was, how many flies did we tie? Four, uh, five, six. Yeah. For all six flies up there tomorrow. And uh, we'll try and include that link to the pike skin if you would like to order it from overseas. Thank you, Tim. All right. So is this making you feel good. Time is the sun Thank you so much, Mr. Flank. Glad everybody was here to watch this. Um, hope you stayed through some of it, if not most of it. Any of it counts. But uh, yeah. Thanks again. Uh, have a nice night.